Welcome to the channel. I'm Dennis. Just wanted to uh, get a few things together before we head out to a little bit of adventure. We are going to head down to Gwinnett County to the Gwinnett County Fairgrounds for the Atlanta Woodworking Show. Now this is typically a yearly event. It, it's usually held downtown Atlanta, but this year uh, is the first year they've started back up since COVID and they couldn't secure a big enough spot. So they started the Gwinnett County Fairgrounds, which is not too bad but definitely uh, could use a bigger spot. And what I've been told is next year they will have a bigger location, but for what they had today, they had a lot of great vendors and I wanted to show you what I saw. So let's hop in the Forerunner and head on down to Gwinnett. So my first stop was to see Chad from Chad for Man Crafting. He was giving a laser presentation to a group of people and he actually did it a couple times throughout the weekend. Uh, here he's showing his diode laser and it is very cool. It's amazing what they can do with diode lasers these, these days. They're very powerful. And if you happen to run into Chad, comment on his glorious beard. He is sporting a mountain man type beard that was terrific to view so next I moved over to a booth and the guy was selling four foot wide rolls of sandpaper he had every grit imaginable and I thought it would be a great deal you could make all your custom different types of sandpaper blocks then I went to the urban timber booth it was huge they were doing a river table demonstration and here they were selling their eco uh, inventory which is something I've been meaning to try out and behind them was the Bad Dog Tools, which is pretty much drills, cut-off wheels. What really uh, struck me was the cut-off wheel for like a Dremel tool. Um, they say that it has a lifetime guarantee and uh, it pretty much cut through anything. Um, they've also got it for your grinder, saws, the mini ch circular saws, the 4-inch, and there's some router bits there. And over here was their demo area where they were using a grinder, uh, cut off wheel in a grinder and cutting uh, cast iron brake shoes. Now there is the top of the line. This is the Fielder Hammer Line, which is their sliding table saw. It had a router or a shaper built in and a jointer. It was a very impressive machine. You see right there, I was testing out the sliding portion of the table saw. And there's the shaper part and they've got the table up so but that should be the uh, the jointer side of the table but they've got it up now and they're looking at it and I walk around here and you can see the helical blades that's uh, underneath the tabletop pretty impressive machine I didn't ask how much it was but uh, it, it's probably well worth the money that they they're charging for it. it's very very precision made One of my all-time favorite booths at these shows is the Toolman booth. He has all kinds of antique tools. Some tools uh, that you have seen before, some tools I've never seen, and I don't even know what they did. But it's so interesting to see uh, the age of them, uh, their uses, because there's no telling what it was used for, some of them in the past. And he's got a great selection. If you're looking for planes, he's got them there. He's got them all conditioned uh, if you want uh, reconditioned ones or ones that need to be reconditioned. It's all there. Um, I spent way too much time looking at it and luckily I walked away without buying anything because I really didn't need anything. But uh, here's an old timey set of drill bits which was kind of cool and came in the box too. That's what really uh, I liked about the how the box was made and the old label on it. And there's an old tabletop vise and later I moved down and there's some calipers that I really liked They're very solidly built and I love that brass indicator right there um, maybe in the future that'll be something I'll add to the collection Now 
Now this piece, I had no idea what its purpose was. It was very unique. Um, some type of calibration. I'm not really sure what it was used for. If you know what it is, comment down below. I'd be interested to find out what it is. And here are all the planes and pretty good condition. And a lot of things were already, uh, it looked like he had sharpened to get them ready for use. Um, here's the block planes that were on top of the table, but underneath the table, just boxes and boxes full, uh, full of wooden block planes that he had. And this was the neat too, this was uh, new old stock files. Uh, so they were the original old stock, but they never been used, so that's why they're called new old stock. And he had one of every type in there. And across the aisle is everybody's favorite booth, the woodpecker booth, the red tool. Love it or hate it, they've got great marketing. I love the color of it and just the aluminum of, well, most of their pieces are aluminum and just the feel of all of them. And they've got great uses uh, for very precision work. So if you need to get very minute details into your projects, this is definitely one way to go with it. And just walking down the line, you can just see all different sizes small and large. I was looking for an engineer square and they had it. It's, if you can kind of see it hiding in there, but I couldn't get to it. There's too many people in front. Um, but I've been looking for a little baby engineering square for squaring up uh, blades to tables. And here we're just moving around to the other side. They got, they had a pretty big booth and I think they brought everything and everything's for sale. They had uh, a show discount you could have if you really need something wait for the show um, and you can go buy it there <laughs> and as I walked over to the other side of the show floor I found the booth called mullet and this is not a new product it's basically a cyclone on top of a bucket but the elegance of them molding it to one unit and making it convertible to whichever type of uh, shop vac you have, you can, they had all kinds of different versions of it. It's really you just adjust that black pipe to fit the height of whatever uh, shop vac you're using. Um, that very good looking product is about $250. Uh, it'd be interesting to try. Now this is just a general, one of the general booth tools, but what made was I, I was interested about it is you can't tell the scale of it, but that is tiny compared to like the Harbor Freight. I think it's, I can't remember if it was one, horsepower or half a horsepower um, but I knew uh, I think it's strong enough or it's just as strong as the Harbor Freight uh, dust collecting set but it is tiny so it fit a lot easier in the shop space and that's kind of something uh, I might try to incorporate to my shop and then there's that green floor air purifier Well, that was an interesting show I uh, just gave you a brief overview of the woodworking show that's being brought back uh, this was the Atlanta show, not as big as the old days, not as many people, friends of that I've seen before, but it was great to see those who I who were there, Chad and Charlie and all the guys. Uh, glad everyone's at least coming out and uh, supporting the show. So let me know if you've been to any of the the woodworking shows around in your area, and let me know how it is for you. I hope next year it will be in a bigger venue and a lot more vendors. Thanks for coming along on this venture, and we'll see you next time. And if you'd like to see more videos like the one that you just saw, you can check here and here. And remember the ABCs of making, always be creating. Till next time.